Hello, warlocks of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning in to the sixth episode of our Eldritch Invocation series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Beguiling Influence. For those warlocks of you who have the patron of the Silver Tongue, for lack of a better term, this increases your clout and moxie. With that being said, let's take a look at the description. First and foremost, there is no prerequisite for this, uh, meaning anyone of any feat, any level, or any spell selection can pick it with no problems. And it reads as followed. You gain proficiency in the deception and persuasion skills. Super useful, especially in 5e. Um, these are probably two of the most commonly used social uh, ability checks. So really great stuff there. Uh, let's take a look at the overview. Honestly, there is not a whole lot to unpack here. Uh, simply add your proficiency bonus to deception persuasion. Uh, this puts you in a great spot when it comes to maintaining your secrecy in regards to the true patron you worship. This also works really well if you combine it with Mask of Many Faces, for example. Uh, between uh, Mask of Many Faces, the Beguiling Influence, uh, the Friends Cantrip, and um, there's a couple, and, and the Actor Feet as well. My goodness, you are fully geared towards taking over someone's entire life. So that just adds insult to injury to that build. This is, honestly, Beguiling Influence is a really solid choice. I find it's kind of underrated, uh, at least by most players, but I think the opportunity and the potential there are super great. Uh, in any case, if you have any alternative ideas, any crazy uses for, for, for Beguiling Influence, or if you have any questions, comments, or things you'd like to add, uh, please put them down below in the comments. I really enjoy reading them, and I know everyone else tuning in does as well. That being said, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and as always, happy casting.